the IMF was really thought of, formed in 1945 after the Second World War, but it took two years until the 1st of March 1947 for it actually to be born and manifested into the world and start its operation. So I used the chart which is Pisces bore. So this means the IMF is now 70 years old and would then be 80 years old. An 80 years old institution that was created by those people at the end of the war. But in 2027 I said, we discussed, that we are in a technological change era and it is clear that at that same time China is the rising power already 2025 in the Saturn-Neptune conjunction and the chart of China is very Saturnian. Now, outside of this consideration of the IMF, which is really about managing the planet's funds and resources and economy, the Nordics point out something to me and say, you know, that which is born will die, it will have an end. And that applies to structures and institutions that humans create. Really everything humans create has an end when you think clearly about it. And so you can then ask at a higher level, Krishnamurti or Buddha, a question, well, what then has no end? What is beyond duality? So some may say, well, pyramids were built by the Egyptians. You could say they're humans and they still last a little bit. They're still remnants. But still the age, the structure is gone. However, there were pyramids on Mars or in Bosnia. There are pyramids that were built with a higher level yet, and which is beyond duality. And you find this, by the way, in symbols in the Celtic and Taoist. Is then beyond duality what has no end? If they say to me, look, everything the humans create has an end. So if you look, for instance, at the pyramids on Mars or the pyramids here, you can clearly see that has outlasted mankind, is much older than mankind by the way. And so are pyramids in Bosnia and the old structures in Peru. But they were built not like mankind functions now in duality, they were built with a third principle which was beyond duality. And that's why the saying said the other way around, this which is not built by humans actually has no end. And you can see it here, by the way, too, the two principles, duality and then the third principle. It's quite clear even in designs, in architectures, in the symbols of the Celtic and Taoist architecture and design, you find the principles everywhere in art. So again, the structures and institutions and buildings that the humans create have an end. And so you can then look at the astrology of structures and institutions and you can more or less see how long of a lifetime it has. But they're saying, and that's the point, we can overcome this. We need to now work like the ancients and like the ETs with that third principle that's beyond duality.